Two months ago, I said to myself, you got to stop this. You've got to stop doing this. I wrote this note to myself. It says, remember the feeling. And that feeling is watching corn. It is so unnatural. It is so bad for us. It really demoralizes the body. It is it, after, after you get done watching it, you really never feel better about yourself. You always feel worse about yourself. And it's something that I have kind of dealt with since I was 10 years old because my, my best friends brothers were older than we were and they had this stuff and they're like oh you got to watch this and it just it turned into a lot of other stuff that turned into show and tell with the neighbors daughters uh, it turned into a lot of other things and i decided two months ago i wrote this note remember the feeling remember the feeling stop doing this two months ago it was last last thursday uh, last thursday a couple days ago it was two months since i stopped not doing it anymore gotta gotta stay away from it I knew that it really wasn't a good idea i knew it wasn't a good idea i see what it does to people i see what it done is done to myself and it has no matter what sex you are watching it you kind of objectify the other uh, sex that you're looking at right and it just turns into this awful thing there was there's this um textbook uh in germany about i believe it's history and they talk about american propaganda and how it has turned us into the most lonely country on the planet and we're over consumers so if you're not with a partner ideally like this is christian catholic whatever you want to call it so married if you're not married right if you don't have that person in your life you are going to try to fill that void <laughs> literally i guess right you're going to try to fill that void and the void is going to be tried to fill with like all things like I, I see a lot of people buying overly buying plants i see a lot of people buying you know animals whatever it is stuff and this, this this history thing couldn't have been any more correct because people are just it's nuts it's nuts. I go to the beach a lot. I live really close to the beach. I go to the beach a lot. I was there today. I was, I've, I've been there and you see a lot of lonely people <laughs> myself really unfortunately included in that, right? I'm there by myself because we had this notion that there's too many babies on the planet and you blah, 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 and you shouldn't reproduce. And you know, the other sex is terrible. Stay away from them. MGTOW, men going their own way. All this kind of nonsense, which I've never really bought into, but I did buy into the, you know, you shouldn't uh, procreate, right? Because, you know, the planet is, you know, the planet's dying and blah, blah, blah. Nonsense. It's nonsense. If you're somebody who is dealing with this, my suggestion is cold turkey. That's what I did. Cold turkey. I'm like, I wrote this down. I wrote, I keep it on my desk. Remember the feeling. I look at it. I, and I'm like, I'm not going through that again because there's such a, there's such an energy loss for the men, for the male. We have such an energy loss because there's supposed to be an energy transfer in sex, right? There's supposed to be an energy transfer. There, there's a chemical exchange that happens and if that chemical exchange doesn't happen, it's just like a wasted thing. It's wasted energy. I, you know, it's just, it, there's so much difference between the real thing and your hand. <laughs> it's not even funny. It, and actually, the longer you do this, the more you notice that women start noticing you. Like it, before, you know, they, you know, they don't notice you as much, but when you really don't do it anymore, when you're not watching porn, when you're doing, you're not really jacking off anymore. There's a, it's a huge thing. Like I, I, if I had people ask me this in my, on the live streams that I used to do, you know, do I do the semen retention thing? And I, I said, no, I, I didn't think it was any good. I kind of had that medical thing in the back of my head, like the prostate's going to like fall off or if, you know, if you don't unload, whatever, I, you know, I don't listen to the doctors for anything else. Why would I start listening to them to them now? I don't agree with any of what they say with this thing at all. It is challenging in the first two weeks, 100%, maybe three weeks, right? It's going to be hard to sit. <laughs> it might be hard to walk. As soon as it, they touch anything, right? Uh, it, it, you know they touch something. Be, be aware of that. And be aware that you could actually have a wet dream. I've known, I've, I've watched some of the semen retention things. Some men actually do have wet dreams. I've had one. It was like when I was 15. I remember waking up and thinking I was in the lake it was I'm like how how did that how did that much come out I don't know um 
But other than that, like there's there's been no downside to it whatsoever. It has been 100% really good. At, glad I did it. Going to continue to do it. I got to break. There's so many patterns that I'm breaking right now that I realize have kept me kind of like in, a, in a, some kind of weird bondage over my life. <sighs> I figure this is the best time of my life to do it. Just there's no relationship going on. There's no, you know, no current relationship right now going on. And there's just so many different things that have just kind of fallen off. And I'm like, you know what? Everything else is falling off. Let me let these old patterns fall off, right? This is 33 years that I've been relying on this stuff. Now it was harder to get back in the day, way harder to get. So there was times when I didn't have it now is just so easy and even on instagram now like instagram basically allows nudity for a certain amount of seconds and, and stuff like that it's it's just getting there's it, and it's really downgrading women in so many different ways it's it's creating and it's downgrading confidence in men because they've become i guess this term is simp there is such a downgrade in the human being it's crazy i was on x twitter whatever you want to call it the other day and there was this girl who said you know i broke up with my boyfriend and had the sex with 22 dudes in 10 days and i'm like that is just disgusting to me like who's bragging about this that's not something to brag about at all like no one wants you you're like a train now some people get on and they get off and then they they're at their destination and they go right no one's staying on the train <sighs> it's just it's hard for me to watch this only fan thing is i've never actually been on it but i've heard a lot about it I, I, it is it's a hot mess yeah sure you can make a lot of money real quick on it but like like my mom said, like women are like puppies. This was her like one advice to me about women. She was like, women are like puppies. They're cute when they're younger and then they get old, right? And then it's just like, so that's eventually going to happen. What are you going to do then? What are you going to do? What are you going to write on a resume? Like I was an only fan. Like, what are you going to, like, what are you going to do? Unless you're really good at saving money. But even then, this has to be playing psychological games with women. It has to be. And I know there's also men on only fans too, you know, doing whatever. I don't even, I don't honestly know what goes on. I, I just hear about it and it's got to stop. It's got to stop. I mean, I know it's a huge business, right? So these people are, who are in this huge business, if you look who's funding, it's not the greatest big business doesn't care right it doesn't care about your health they actually prefer you in worse health they prefer you to be lonely over consuming because they make more money off of this they want you in this position they don't want you to be thriving in, in great relationships because when you're in a great relationship and you're thriving you don't even pay attention to these people you don't need a lot of stuff but you know I, I live in an old house. This house was built in 1947. Well, old-ish house. I know if somebody's watching this in another country, this house is built in like 1601 or something like that. It's a different thing. But, you know, the baby boomer house, right? So I live in a house that was built in 1947. There's not that much closet space. There's not a lot of space in this house because people were active. People had lives. They, they, and then they just joined up at the end of the night and, and, and you know conversed and you know the, the woman was at home and doing all all her stuff and the man was out off at work doing his stuff and then you just came home at night and you know it was a thing right it's just now it's just you know people don't even know what sex they are and it's, it's just it's crazy it's crazy and i think one of the best places we can start especially for men getting their confidence back is to stop watching porn because it is not helping your confidence guarantee it even if you're one doing the porn it guarantee it's not helping your confidence guaranteed because i've actually known people in that industry and they it has not helped them <sighs> yeah anyway this it's there's so many things that i'm just let falling off and it does have me in a weird mental space it will put you in it could be because it's the highest dopamine that you can get it, it's the highest dopamine that you can get so you are really going to be in it mentally you're going to want to go for it and just you can't you can't you just gotta let it go it's like everything else. It's like everything else. Anyway, if you want to build your confidence back, if you want to get to a point where you're not objectifying everybody, turning everybody into certain body parts and stuff like that, I definitely would suggest this. Now, I'm not saying that you're not going to have attraction 
you know, anymore. Right. But it's different. It's different. Anyways, that is, uh, I'm sure there probably might be questions for this. Uh, if there is, ask questions down below. I might make another video about this if there's enough questions. If not, this might stand alone. It's just, it's it's simple. Just stop. Just stop. Write a note. Remember the feeling because it's not a good one. And move on. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. If you did make it this far, though, and you know somebody who's going through this, maybe, I mean, I, I don't have any tips other than just don't do it. Some things in life is just, it's got to be that way. Anyways, talk to you in the next one. Thank you.